Hello from David and me. Welcome to the programme. First tonight, for nearly 50 years, Hemsby Independent Lifeboat has been carrying out sea rescues and helping people in trouble on the Norfolk Broads. But the service is now in peril itself. Coxon Dan Hurd says the lifeboat station could be just days away from falling into the sea after a cliff collapse close by. Yes, crew members will be among campaigners going to Downing Street later this month in an attempt to get urgent government help. Meanwhile, they're trying to find an alternative location for their boathouse as Natalie Gray reports. Yeah, it's a bit of a worry down this coastal erosion. Kevin and Dan are two of 13 volunteers who make up the Hemsby Independent Lifeboat Crew. But for how much longer? Norfolk has the fastest eroding coastline in Europe and the lifeboat station is now in danger of being lost to the sea like dozens of clifftop homes here. It's horrendous down here. Um, yeah, we're just looking at it at the moment. We're one big storm away from losing the lot. You know, that could happen in the next few days, it could happen in the next few weeks. Um, if there's no lifeboat here, there's potential loss of life at sea. Planning permission has been granted for a granite rock defence known as a berm, but no one will meet the £20 million cost. So every time our cameras return to this coastal community, a little more is lost. I've been covering coastal erosion stories here at Hemsby for about 20 years and I cannot tell you how alarming it is to see how the beach car park is now so close to the edge. It didn't used to have a sea view at all. Former fisherman Kenny Cheney is 78 and remembers why the Hemsby lifeboat was set up. There were three people got drowned in two days and uh, it was... Well, all the local businessmen uh, thought that that was uh, uh, giving the Hemsby a bad name, and so they decided that they were going to uh, try and get a lifeboat together. I haven't been uh, uh, had to call on them, but uh, I know several fishermen who have. Since then, they reckon they've saved hundreds, if not thousands, of lives from swimmers in difficulty, windsurfers in distress, children on airbeds drifting out to sea, and various distress calls from boats on the broads. James Bensley has been running the beach cafe next to the lifeboat station for 15 years. He's a county councillor and is as frustrated as everyone else. Most of my thoughts are anger, frustration, Lots of negative emotions, to tell you the truth, like homeowners and business owners all along the Norfolk coast are very, very disappointed, especially in Hemsby, regarding the situation we find ourselves. It, it shouldn't be like this. There'll be a contingent from here going to 10 Downing Street later this month to plead for help, but they know time is running out. Natalie Gray, ITV News, Hemsby in Norfolk.